Hey guys, my name's Epic Jones, and welcome to my brand new series called Map Review. Now, I know a lot of people do Map Review, but the reason I want to start the series is because, the w because of this map that I found on Planet Minecraft. This is the Tracy Island Villa from the unfortunately god-awful movie Thunderbirds 2004, but... Even though the movie was awful, this island is absolutely brilliant. I mean, have you seen this island? It is amazing. Right, let's, what I'm going to do on this map is I'm going to look at the, first of all, the Tracy House first, and then I'm going to go through the different Thunderbird crafts and the launching areas. So this is the lounge, and I do kind of recognise this. I remember there is a fight scene in the movie between Parker, Lady Penelope, and the Hoods, Hood and his two allies, can't remember their names. This I think this is where they walk down. Parker gets smashed through that, or the or the girl, I don't know. And they have lunch around here and then and yeah, I remember that. And this this way through here is lit oh no, I shouldn't go here yet. I think it, you may have just seen two of the two of the big things that we may look at later on. Um now I don't know if this is the map maker's fault. I have had a look around this place already. Uh, but uh, if you come up here, then you are at the really, really cool. Um, that's the pool down there. You're at the really cool little base that um, like closes off when um, there's a rescue or if there's a security alert. So uh, let's take you to the first Thunderbird craft. Now, I don't know if this is just a glitch or a bug, but when I hold on, whenever I press any of these buttons or do anything. Uh, to try and get these um, things. To oh, ah, I see. Ah, I have to press a um, specific button. That that kind of makes sense. I understand that now. Right. So, oh, <laughs> obviously that's the redstone working. Right. So what I'm about to show you is Thunderbird One. Now. I understand that this Thunderbird one isn't actually made by the map creator. In fact, I should probably link the map creator in the description and the guy who made the Thunderbirds. This Thunderbird was actually made by a guy called 8-Bit, who I am a really big fan of because he makes really cool Thunderbird vehicles, like this one, which is a really accurate representation of Thunderbird 1 from the 2004 movie. If you want to check out his channel, his link will also be in the description because I know he made these Thunderbirds. Right, the next Thunderbird we will look at is probably most of the people's favourites. You know what's coming next. It's big, it's green, and it's not Shrek. It is Thunderbird 2. Oh my god, it's kind of disappointing. Oh wait, I see, that came out wrong. Not this build. This build is r a really accurate representation of the disappointing Thunderbird in the movie. It looks cool. Like, honest to god, it looks really cool. Oh, and there's Thunderbird 4. We might as well get to that in a sec, but... Oh my god, this looks so accurate to the movie. You've got the big yellow chairs, and you've got the control panels, and obviously this is where Alan and Fermat sitted. And then they obviously they jumped out in Thunderbirds uh, 4 when they had to save the monorail. And yeah, so let's have a quick look at Thunderbird 4. This won't take too long because it is a really small Thunderbird. Uh, oh yeah, I think this guy has done... Look, you can press buttons to start missions. But um, you can't do it for now because um, he hasn't made any yet. But I do have to say, it is really good. Again, the Thunderbirds on this map look amazing. It's just such a shame that the 2004 movie isn't good. Oh, and in here, there's the, the mole, and this is where um, Fermat's dad made the uh, the phone thing, the really weird phone that you, you can, um, not the phone, the thing you put on your head, which um, you can then make things levitate with your mind. Now, through here, I think, yeah, is Thunderbird 3. We don't need to go to the um, other pod. Now, this was also made by 8-Bit. All of the Thunderbirds, I think, are made by 8-Bit. Correct me if I'm wrong in the comment section if he watches. But uh, I think this one was also made by 8-Bit, and it does look really cool. Um, <laughs> I mean, just look at the detail on it. Thunderbird 3, I did like in the movie. I think they did a really good job of keeping it fairly original to the show. And again, this is a really cool looking Thunderbird. So, you know, I'm, I'm pretty pleased with the designs that this guy has done. And, um, oh, goodness. Right, and I think now, now we've looked at all of the Thunderbird, like, crafts. I think now all we have to do is look at Thunderbird. Oh, I know he might have not made it. 
I don't know. I haven't actually looked. Let's see. Ah, no, it just takes you to um Thunderbird 3. Does it say, um, you can launch the Thunderbird 5? Nice. Oh, I remember this from the, um, from the TV show when they stock onto Thunderbird 5. Right. Holy flip. Oh, hold on. There's apparently a walkway. Oh, sugar, you can't. It's slightly confusing, but I have to give them credit because, I mean, oh my god, that, oh no, we're just going to fly over. Look how cool this thing looks. Oh my days, this thing looks amazing. Now, I don't know if 8-Bit built this one or if somebody else built it, but I will, if I find out, I'll link them in the description. Oh my god, the detail on it. Look how look how good it looks. Right, we're going inside in a minute. The lag is the lag's getting to us a bit. We will lower down the res render distance ever so slightly. Oh so slightly. Um Oh god. <laughs> oxygen levels. Right, there we go. It's alright, the oxygen levels will be fine. Let's have a look around. Oh my days, this thing looks good. Where where does this take me to? That takes me to the center. We don't want to go to the center. I want to find out where John was. Um, he's near the. Uh, oh, in the movie, he's near the um, the docking station. So, if we go to the docking station, he should be near there. Now I don't know if that'll work or not, but it might. Control room, yes. Ah, okay, so it's not that Four, accurate to the show, but this three, still looks really cool. Two, this actually looks like what Thunderbird 5 one. would be. This is a really cool representation. What is that? Is that a melon? Is that a melon? Is that a head? Well, I mean, I know it's a head, but... Uh, oh my god, I don't know what it is, but it looks cool. KPEG 905's head. Okay, well, it's somebody's head, and we're going to place it everywhere. Uh... There we go. He's, he, Thunderbird 5 is covered with KPEG's head. Oh my god. Oh, I just... Right, I'm going back to the good old Tracy Island. Back to Planet Tracy, as John would say. Because we're going to have one final look at the main island. Now, I know that the movie, it was disappointing. Have you seen the reviews of the movie? I don't usually agree with reviewers too much. But, I mean, with this one, I had to hands down say... Yep, you're right, this movie is quite awful. But, uh, hell, I mean, you know, it's not that bad. Um, well, no, it's not, well, the Thunderbirds aren't that bad. It's eye candy. And I have to say, they did a pretty good job of putting this thing sideways. Looks really cool. Right, time to go back into Thunderbird 3. I'll probably let all the oxygen out, but oh well. I can't close the door. Okay. We are about to run out of oxygen. Time to fly back to Earth. How do you fly back to Earth? Back to Tracy Island. There we go. Right. Um. Oh, was there a teleport button to go straight to Tracy Island? To back to um. Thunder Five. Well, oh, that's annoying. Oh well. Anyway. Right. Enough of looking at Thunderbird Two. We've looked at that one already. Right. Time to. Oh, in the night time. This will be beautiful. Let's have a good old look. Oh, that's the Hood submarine. If you don't know, I'll do. Oh, I don't really know. Uh, do you know what? I'll. I won't look at that. You can have. If you download the map, the link to that will also be in the description. You can do that in your own time because it is. It is pretty cool, right? So, let's have a look at the map from up here. Oh my God! It looks so similar to the show. I'm gonna put a picture on the screen now so that you can see the difference between this one and the 2004 version. Besides the like pixelliness, this thing looks absolutely brilliant. I just, oh, hands down to the guy that made this. You are brilliant. I, oh, what was that noise? I don't know. But the point is, this map is amazing. I think that it's the coolest map I've seen definitely in a long time. I will hopefully, I'm going to see more like this. I know somebody made a Tracy Island of the 1965 map, and that's really cool. And I'll probably do a review of that map as well if it wants to work. It just doesn't want to work on 1.8, which is a bit annoying. But this map is absolutely awesome. So, yeah, hope you guys like this. If you want this series to continue where I review maps and stuff like that, 
please leave a like, comment below, and as always, please subscribe, it helps out the channel, and also, I thought this is rather fitting considering that the new series of Thunderbirds came out, and that also, I'm making my new series, that should, you know, which is a reminder, um, you know, hopefully you're part of the competition, if you're not, go to the previous video, it explains all the details, my email for it is in the description, so yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did because oh, this map is just so cool. Anyway, goodbye guys and I hope you enjoyed.